Since then, uh, we've coordinated with each other and, and everybody else that's here um, to, uh, to be part of this. And Joe's put together this really snazzy system here that I don't get, but it makes some beautiful music. <laughs> and he's been laying down that background music that you've been hearing. Uh, yeah, he does teach at the Ballard Church, Joe, is it? Yep. it Thank you. He donates his time to the children here in Asbury Park and teaches them music lessons. And awesome. anybody, if you have any musical instruments that you'd like to donate, Can't forget the West Side. any kind of computer or, or, or musical equipment that you don't use anymore, see Joe, and uh, you can always take it and put it to good use. Um, Thank you, so, uh, Heike's going to come and deliver a couple of uh, statistics for us. Uh, and uh, just tell us about some of the things, or the reasons why we're here. Okay, this is uh, Heike Schneider's Elm Heifer, my BFF. <laughs> And I don't, they are not, I, if somebody could click on the PowerPoint slide, I don't know. So anyway, I'm just reading the numbers um, from, what? I got that from the consensus report and a study that was done last year with 6,456 transgender and gender non-conforming people by the Williams Institute. So the, the numbers are high. The overall U.S. Trans, transgender population here in the U.S. alone is 700,000 or 0.3% of adults. So not counting young uh, children or teenagers in it. And the reason why we are here is because around 19% suffer domestic violence. 57% have no family support. Seventy percent experience in healthcare discrimination ranging from verbal abuse to service refusal, so they cannot even get the medical support they need. Nineteen percent were denied health care in general. And two hundred and seven out of six hundred and thirty-seven companies provided health care. And that was in two thousand twelve. Um, the numbers may have slightly risen, but I don't think that much. I couldn't find any numbers. Housing, 69% experienced homelessness in their lifetime. And that is one third of the reported, uh, of those reported, they have been turned away from a shelter. And a fourth was sexually abused. I did the research last night and it literally almost made me sick. Um, income, a four times more likely to earn less than $10,000, which is absolutely way below the poverty level. Employment numbers, 65% experience violence at work. And 26% of the transgender population lost their job. So the unemployment rate is twice the rate of the general population and 10 to 14 percent, and that was in 2008. And the younger population um, in schools, 80 percent of the trans students feel unsafe. Um, 58.7% of the gender non-conforming students experienced harassment just due to their gender expression. 
and that is versus 29% of their peers. So the numbers are really high. 69% high school students and 85% college students have been assaulted. Bisexual and transgender homicides or transgender women, 72%. And 67% were um, women, trans women of color. And let's, let's skip that slide. So, the really, and the reason why we're here and the PowerPoint presentation that runs over there is 1,700. 33 reported killings of trans and gender variant people occurred in 61 countries worldwide. And this is between 2008 and 2014. And shouldn't be. Brazil and Mexico alone accounts for 883 murders. The US accounts for 108, and that was between 2008 and 2014. However, the slide that I present to over there has 78 names on it, and they were killed worldwide just in 2015 alone. And the known cause of death, 44% were shot, 23% were stabbed, and 13% were beaten to death. So, to those survivors, they experienced extensive trauma. 77% live with anxiety and depression. Suicidal ideation is 50% on a daily basis for the transgender population. And 41% actively try to commit suicide. Out of 6,450 transgender people who participated at the study, 2,644 actively try to cut themselves. Others do self-sabotage, drinking, addiction, left with low self-esteem and low self-worth, anger, and emotional outbursts. And um, that concludes the presentation and the reason why we are here. We need to raise awareness of what's going on and how the transgender population feels. And we, as this people, we need to be supportive and not push them away. for putting this all together. So much work went into this. A lot of that resonates with me. <laughs> <laughs> 